I know we have five of the great rock bands of all time. You got U2, you got Radiohead, you got Coldplay, uh, you've got Paul McCartney doing I Saw Her Standing There, and you got Kid Rock. So that's my little rock world. Okay, now we go over to hip hop world. And we start with these superstars of hip hop, this swagger number that we're doing, which is Jay Z, Kanye, T.I., and Lil Wayne. And then they kind of spread out so that not only are they in this number, which has never been seen on television, they've never done together, but we also now have them performing in surprise appearances with other acts. So it's just, uh, so the, and that, that takes care of nine of the 24 performances that are on the show. The idea of putting people together is sort of a signature of ours. It doesn't always work, and there are artists that are kind of still resistant to it, but it's really interesting that in the past several years, going, more artists actually come to us and say, you know what, I, I kind of like to be with this one, or I've always wanted to sing with that one. So now it's kind of the tables, I don't think they've turned, but it's a lot easier now to present these things because um, the artists probably trust us a little more than maybe they did at one point, and they know that we're not going to ask them to do anything that is uh, that's really anathema to them. But instead, it's, it, it, it kind of fits them. It's just you know I think music can, kind of moves in cycles. Um, I think you know there's definitely an Amy Winehouse effect when you look at you know at, at certain of the performers that are nominated. Um, but beyond that, I mean, Coldplay has been growing over the years. Um, you know, some of the other acts that, that have come, you know, there's a, you know, it goes back to the Beatles and before. But I think this year in particular, it's just kind of like, uh, not that there was a void, but they've kind of, uh, they've created some really interesting music and it's had an effect on us here.